Hey guys, this is William here. In today's video, we'll be discussing local SEO for a floor sander. That's right, local SEO for a floor sander. Bam! My name is William. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification because I promise you, all these golden nuggets you're not going to want to miss. My name is William. I have 20 years of SEO experience and in marketing. I've taken an agency from four clients to several hundred and helped thousands get the rankings they not only need, but they also deserve. So I'm glad to have you here. Please make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this client reached out to me, a potential client wanting some SEO, wanted me to do an audit for them. So when we're looking at these sites, you know, there are a couple of things I look at in general, right? just in general. So there's a couple of tools I use. One's a Chrome extension. It's this one right here. If you don't know it already or haven't seen me use it 50 million times, it is right here. It's this little red S, right? It is SEO meta in one click. So literally I can click on this bad boy and it will tell me, you know, what are your H1s? H2s, what are you missing, what are your images like, everything, right? So, but right off the bat, I can tell you, for example, floor sanding in Edinburgh by past and present. No one wants to know this. This has nothing to do with your keyword, by past and present. I would put that up here in bold text, floor sanding in Edinburgh, right? Floor sanding in Edinburgh. You have it saying floor sanding in Edinburgh by past and present. I know that's your business thing, but to me it just makes no sense why are you going to convolute it that way. Stop it. With Google, you want to food, you know, spoon feed them. You want to literally take whatever keyword it is, put it on the spoon form, and shove it into their mouth, right? And by doing so, we're going to guarantee they are not going to get confused. All right, by adding any other words to this and saying, for example, the best floor sanding in Edinburgh and blah, 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 no one gives a shit. Google don't care. Give them exactly what they want, okay? Ah! Um, let's keep going down. So, also another thing I like to always see, I don't see, no one can really read these little texts right here, up here. And generally speaking, when I see this, this tells me, someone was probably using a template but you can't really even see that it's so tiny that unless i like blow this crap up you're not even going to see it. you know and that's at 200 and something percent and i finally see it right the other thing you want is a nice big bright call to action over here right so when i scroll i see it one thing i have been noticing is on the left hand side you're using sticky reviews which i also encourage people to use because these sticky reviews will build trust all right you text here let's see let's go through it all the contact button that CTA there it doesn't really pop out you want them to pop out let's look and see what type of so we have services but none of this is hyperlinked over to other pages so what you want is for example all of these pages should have a URL structure that says, let's say, floorboard or replacement and repairs um, in Edinburgh, etc. All these services should be down here. These H2 should all be hyperlinked, <coughs> excuse me, over to their appropriate page. I know you have to read more hyperlinked over to their page, but those aren't the H2s. The H2 should be these right here, and they should all be hyperlinked over to the appropriate pages. Now, besides that, let's see if you have any Google reviews embedded on your homepage. You don't have your GMB or your Google business profile embedded on your homepage. You don't have the reviews embedded on the homepage. You don't have a, a location page or what we call a city page in which we have you know all the places to go things to do areas around the city no let's look at your word count so if we were going to do a word count on this how many words you got 
you got a good amount on this page. You got 2,600, which is excellent. Okay. So let's go over to some of your other pages real quick. So let's go to floorboard and replacement and repairs and look at that. Let's see how many words you have on this. Yeah. See, your home page is great, but then we get into this page and you don't got that much content at all. I mean, really, if we were to take that content, do a word count, you know, you would see that you literally have, sorry about that, you literally have 180 words, so pretty much nothing. I mean, no, no internal linking. I mean, really, you need a lot of help on this website. Get some help. So we'd start out with basic SEO, basic one page SEO, internal linking, some things of that nature to get your rankings going in the right direction. Let's look at your page speed. Page speed sucks. <coughs> page speed's a 59. Um, it's decent on your, you know, desktop, but on mobile, which is what most people are using nowadays, 80 something percent. You want your page speed to be faster than that, and it's just extremely slow. Then on your page, actual website audit, you have two errors, 36 warnings. These things we need to get fixed. It take us a day to do it. Then you got 633 other issues that we'd want to take care of. The basic issues, you got seven broken links, all right? You have empty alt text, so you got 391 empty alt text, right? Um, empty alt text. So alt text is what am I telling Google, right? When we look at an image and we see an image, are we naming that image file according to the keyword on which that page is? So if the page is, let's say, floor sanding, that image should be called floor sanding before it's ever uploaded, right? And then once it's uploaded, we give it an alt title or a title tag, right, according to that keyword. And yours are missing over 300 that don't even have that. So if I was to go over here and use our handy dandy little extension here, and I'll go over to images, I'm gonna see that that's the fact. You have 63 images, 16 are without title, I mean without alt, and then 25 are without title. So we wanna get those things fixed. So um, if you're looking to do SEO, let's say you're in Edinburgh, how I base things are, for example, what is your population, right? Edinburgh population is 524. It's not that big. If you ever rank fortress.com, wanted to look at our SEO, um, we base things based off of population. So I would tell you that's gonna cost you around $500 a month. If you click on shop now, it's going to show you exactly what you get every month with that. We're going to do our GMB optimization, post on your GMB five days a week, do a press release, do a blog post of 1500 words, your map stack, your Google News Network, everything. So um, if you have any questions, just go over here to the top right hand corner to speak to William and book a call with me. I gladly help you. If there's any other questions or maybe some of you watching want me to do a local SEO audit for you and you would like these same reports that I'm going to send to this gentleman because I'll be emailing these all over to you as well, um, then comment below and I'll reach out to you and I'll do you a local SEO audit as well. Until next time, you be blessed and have a great day. Watch this next upcoming video coming up right after this. You have a great day. So many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hat. I was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents.